Welcome to GST Hero video series. Today we are going to see how user can file GSTR 9 from GST Hero. While filing GSTR 9, you may have certain questions like what if outward supply as per GSTR 1, GSTR 3B and books of accounts do not match? What if my supplier has not updated purchases in GSTR 2A? What if ITC as per GSTR 3B and 2A do not match? To answer these questions, follow certain steps before you start filing GSTR 9. First is compare GSTR 1 versus GSTR 3B report. So go to this report section, then click on GSTR 1 and 3B report. Select the financial year that is 2017-18. Then fetch the data from here and click on generate excel. Then it will download here. So click on this download button for downloading this report. So download the reports for comparison tax liable payable between both returns. We have already downloaded that report. So Go to the desktop, then go to the GSTR 9 folder. First report is GSTR 1 versus 3B. So all data downloaded here. You can check the quarterly summary and monthly summary also. Then second is reconcile GSTR 1 versus books of accounts. So go to the reports, click on GSTR 1 annual reconciliation. Then select your software connector in map excel. Then you can upload your purchase register from upload data option. Next step is you have to face the data for all the months. Then you have to click on reconcile and generate excel. After that you will get one file of reconciliation of GSTR 1. So we have already downloaded that report. So this is your file of GSTR 1 reconciliation. GST Hero GSTR 1 annual reconciliation report. Compare sales and tax liability as per GSTR 1 and finalized books of accounts. Any discrepancy shall be updated accordingly. Then the third is upload purchases in GST Hero. So go to the home page, select your financial year, tax period as March 18. You can upload your purchase register from this GSTR 2 section. You can upload the data of purchase register. So we have already uploaded the purchase register in this format. So you can review the data from here and save the draft. Next is compare GSTR 2A versus GSTR 3B report. So go to the report section and select GSTR 2A and 3B report. Select the financial year as 2017-18. Click on the phase data for all the months. After that you can click on generate excel for downloading that report. So you can download the report from here. Now open the folder. GSTR 9 and this is your report of GSTR, uh, GSTR 2A and GSTR 3B. So all data downloaded here you can check quarterly summary and monthly summary and you can check also in detailed format. So you can compare input tax credit as per GSTR 2A and GSTR 3B. Next is GSTR 2A reconciliation with your purchase data. So go to the reconciliation section. Select your date July 2017 to March 18. Click on apply and you can upload the file of purchase register from here and fetch the data of GSTR 2A here. So click on reconcile. After clicking on reconcile you will get all the reconciliation report in this format. You can also download this reconciliation in excel format. So open the folder of GSTR 9 and check the GSTR 
just have to do a reconciliation. So it is essential to identify whether all our purchases have been updated by the supplier. So this is your summary report. So to identify such differences in GLSTR 2A and our purchases data, user our GLSTR 2A multi-match report. The next is amendments or additions report. Use our GST Hero supplies and amendment reports to identify any amendment made in same or next financial year or additions made in next financial year. So you can download the report from report section that is just our one supplies and amendments report. Now once we have analyzed all data and reports mention about date at start filing just our line. So go to the home. This is your client dashboard. In just our 9, select the tax period as 2018. Then click on calculate then auto calculate then you will draft just our 9. So part 1 contains basic into like just of the registered person and uh, financial year for which return is to be filed then trade name and legal name of the registered person a summary of net payable tax based on just r1 and just r3b have been mentioned for quick reference so you can click on the arrow and you can check the report then in case you haven't downloaded supplies and amendment report earlier the same can be downloaded from here a help section and steps to file gstr 9 have been mentioned for each part there were basics for gstr 9 now going to further part 2 includes details for outward supply and inward supply on which tax is paid on reverse charge basis Part 2 details are updated as per details filed in GSTR 1. Any changes required on comparison of GSTR 1, GSTR 3B and books of accounts may be updated accordingly. The values may be updated as per audited financial statement. Table number 4 gives the details of outward supply on which tax has been paid including inward supply on which tax has been paid on reverse charge basis. Here on comparison of GSTR 1 versus GSTR 3B and GSTR 1 annual reconciliation. So we have to observe that. So this is your taxable value that is matched here. Your CGST tax. Here is CGST. SGST is also same and IGST amount. So this is your IGST amount. All report is matched here. So next is table 5. Table 5 gives details of all outward supply on which no tax has been paid like meal, non-GST, exempt supplies etc. All these details we also editable and may be updated as per the finalized books of accounts. Then next is part 3. Part 3 includes details of all input tax credit available during the financial year. First click on fetch purchase data. All purchases data updated on GST Hero GSTAR 2 will be updated here. However, all fields are editable and any changes may be updated. Purchase data is bifurcated into inputs, capital goods, and input services. Table 6 gives details of input tax credit as per books of accounts and its comparison with IDC availed as per GSTAR 3B. The difference between the two shall be ideally zero. Any excess credit as per 6J not availed through GSTAR 3B for financial year 1780 until March 2019 will lapse. Also, 
one needs to identify differences between ITC availed as per GSTAR 3B and books. Table number 7 is refers to reversal of ITC. ITC may be reversed in situations where ineligible ITC may be availed or various other rules mentioned under GST. You can refer our help section for the details. After that, table number 8 gives the details of other ITC related information like comparison of sum with GSTAR 2A. Any differences between the two may be identified using GSTAR 2A multi-match report. Any ITC availed during next year may be updated in table 8C. Differences identified in table 8D may be bifurcated in table 8E and 8F. Any unavailed credit as per table 8K will lapse here amount of 165149 IGST will lapse where amount in table 8D is negative that is no invoices have been updated by the supplier. Input tax credit for the same may be availed on self-assessment. Maintaining documentation of such credit availed to essential. Next part is part 4. Part 4 gives the details of tax paid as declared in returns filed during the financial year. The details here are updated as per GSTR 3B. In case of any updation in tax liability as per table 4 may be updated in tax payable section. Additional tax payable may be paid through form DRC03. Next is part 5. This section gives details of any amendments made in the next financial year that is financial year 2018-19. GST Hero supplies and amendment report may be referred for table 10 and table 11. Table 12 and table 13 gives the details of any ITC availed or reverse pertaining to previous year. Table 14 is updated on the basis as tax payable and paid as per table 10 and 11. Additional tax liability may be paid through form DRC03. Then next is part 6. It contains miscellaneous information. Table 15 gives the details of refunds and demands made during the financial year. Table 16 gives the details of goods purchased from composition dealer, goods sent on job work basis or goods sent on approved basis. Table 17 HSN summary of outward supply. It is auto populated as just R1. Any changes required may be updated. Then the table 18 is HSN wise summary of inward supply. It may be auto populated if details are mentioned in purchase data uploaded on GST Hero GSTR2. Then last is table 19 is for late fees is auto populated in case of delay in filing GSTR9. To return to original values, Click on reset data or you can click on discard option. After all changes are made, click on save draft. After saving the draft, click on review button and review the data from here and save to GSTN. Any errors will be highlighted after data is saved to GSTN. So last option is e sign and file. So, you can select the option of EVC or DSC to file the GSDR 9. Thank you.